James Dean is arguably the most popular male star in the adult film industry. But porn's poster boy, who preaches respect for women and safe boundaries, now publicly stands accused by several women of sexual assault. Serious accusations prompting major fallout in his otherwise storied career. James Dean, the cute guy with the sheepish grin, has built an entire porn empire on his boy next door persona. I am a, actually a big believer in, um, in romantic love, and I am totally a hopeless romantic. Seen here on Daily Beast TV, he's arguably the most popular male star in the $13 billion American adult film industry. Appealing to female fans as the sweet, sensitive guy, racking up mainstream credits like The Canyons opposite Lindsay Lohan. Hi. And building a loyal following on social media. But that carefully crafted image of the feminist sweetheart was tarnished this weekend when his ex-girlfriend and once frequent co-star Stoya <laughs> accused him of rape on Twitter, writing on Saturday, James Dean held me down while I said no, stop used my safe word. I just can't nod and smile when people bring him up anymore. Stoya's rape allegation retweeted thousands of times, making solidarity with Stoya a trending hashtag. Stoya is, uh, she is beyond honest. Caden Cross is Stoya's friend and business partner. She and I have discussed this before. This, this has been something that has been eating her up for quite some time. Um, and she struggled with whether to say something because the, the cons are, are so much greater than, than what she perceived the pros to be. I mean, the pros are obviously the behavior stopped and she can, you know, she can get that weight off of her shoulder. She doesn't have to be silent about it anymore. Stoya's accusations prompting two other actresses to come forward with similar claims against Dean, stirring questions about consent and perceived blurred lines between work in the sex industry and actual sexual assault. Typically, the statute of limitations is six years for rape in California. But you're going to need a complaint. You're going to need someone who's not just going to go on social media, but going to go to the police and say, I want this person charged. I'm the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh. Dean has not been charged She's with the crime and has denied Stoya's accusations on Twitter, writing in a series of tweets. There have been some egregious claims made against me on social media. These allegations are both false and defamatory. I respect women and I know and respect limits both professionally and privately. We reached out to Dean, but he did not respond with comment beyond what he tweeted. He did not address porn star Ashley Fire's story to the Daily Beast, that Dean allegedly sexually assaulted her in the communal shower at a porn studio. Another actress, Tori Lux, alleging yet another assault, writing, I was afraid. James Dean ruthlessly attacked and degraded me, leaving me with mental wounds that took years to heal. There are, of course, the anonymous commenters who, who say it's not rape, it's just trespassing if you're a sex worker. But the overwhelming majority has stepped in, some, in support of Stoya. Can he file a defamation suit before a lawsuit's even filed against him? If he files a suit, all of this becomes fair game. So. For him to file a lawsuit, he better be telling the truth that none of this happened. Because otherwise, he's going to be exposed not just in the court of public opinion, but in a, in a court of law. You can't take the, this, this one man as a representation of our industry. He acts on his own. We don't support that. It's one person who has crossed the boundaries of too many women in so many isolated situations that he hasn't been stopped until now. But the multiple accusations did prompt several studios to act swiftly on just the allegations alone. Kink, a porn studio specializing in rough sex, dropped their highest profile male star. Another studio, Evil Angel, suspending sales of Dean's videos, saying the accusations are, quote, of a nature so contrary to our company values. And the adult performer advocacy committee accepting Dean's resignation as a board member, vowing to, quote, stand with performers and other sex workers who are victims of any sort of sexual assault. There are still names out there, and um, they may say something, they may not. And uh, it, that, that's, that's their call. Um, my, my feelings have always been, if, if you are the victim, it's your story, you protect it, and you, you do with it what you want and what you will. People look down on the porn industry, and they look down on it as being this sort of seedy, dirty thing. But you know what? When push came to shove, they rallied behind her, and I think that is awesome. Amelia McDonald Perry is the editor in chief of The Frisky, a lifestyle blog for women where Dean was a featured sex columnist. 
for the most part, I, I liked his advice. I liked the fact that it was very focused on consent, that it was very focused on communication, and that he was very, he emphasized a lot that there wasn't a one-size-fits-all approach to having good sex or being good in bed. And I really liked that. I thought that it gave, you know, anybody reading the column, the kind of, uh, my hope was that it gave them the confidence to sort of explore and to try new things with their partners. The site has since killed all future columns. I still think the advice itself was good, but who it was coming from now, I, it's, uh, it's, it, who knows if it, if it was genuine. And for some, that's the irony. Dean has always preached the idea of respect and boundaries, seen here in the web series Girl Spot. What are some key pointers that you like to talk to college campuses about when it comes to sexual education? Well, sexual education, let's address that first because that one's quick and easy yeah. and it's the same thing every time. Respect, consent, you know, uh, Amen. I'm so glad like you said discussion. Consent. The discrepancy causing Amelia to struggle with her decision to give Dean a sex advice column of his own. I've been working with him on a sex column for a website targeted at women was uh, I it's among the it's kind of like this the worst thing I've ever had to deal with in my professional career. The latest allegations could hurt Dean's mainstream appeal but Stoya's friend Caden for one is not sorry. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of the people who are standing up to support sex workers to support women to absolutely put their foot down and say there's no gray area. Um, I'm glad that it happened in a public place because it, it sends the loudest and clearest message it can send.